good morning to your viewers and welcome to this uh, edition of focus in parliament where we put a spotlight on the happenings and the activities of parliament uh, my name is chemunges timothy your host for today and i want to welcome you and appreciate for your time and always allowing to be part of this conversation uh, today i we shall be looking into the, uh, a number of uh, items that parliament considered this week and specifically, we shall be looking and reflecting on um, the bills that uh, some of the members of parliament were allowed to, they were given leave to introduce them. That include the alcohol control bill, and then we have the consumer protection bill. Also, we shall be putting a spotlight on uh, the new leadership of the Parliamentary Press Association that has a new leadership and uh, we want to look into the, their contribution and their role into uh, promoting and covering parliament to promote accountability, democracy, and good governance. We shall also be looking at the loan request which uh, the executive has presented before parliament. One was, uh, was approved last week, that was for 1.7 trillion, trillion, and there are two others which are currently before the committee. Joining me today for this discussion is, uh, is a panel of distinguished star guests. The first is Honorable Obiga Rose, uh, the current member of parliament of Terego. Honorable Zawoka. Thank you so much. What mm. Timothy has forgotten is the most rural MP in the 11th parliament. I don't, <laughs> I don't <laughs> know what constitutes uh, rural MP. I don't know what would constitute that. My niche, uh, mm. I only stand for the last person, the most vulnerable person. Mm -hmm. That person everyone seems to have forgotten about. That is where I derive that from and that's where my passion is. Thank you so much, Honorable. You're welcome. Thank you. Uh, the other guest is... Uh, uh, Apollo Tusime is the current Secretary General of the Uganda Parliamentary Press Association and uh, an experienced journalist. We shall be tapping into his experience and his uh, uh, long serving uh, position as uh, into journalism in this discussion. Apollo, you're welcome. Thank you. It is a pleasure, Timothy, for uh, hosting me today. Uh, like you said, my name is Tsima Apollo. I am the Secretary General for Uganda Parliamentary Press Association. Uh, for a start, I must appreciate the opportunity to uh, sit with uh, Lulo. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no tarmac, no electricity. Mm. And I think he, she has a, a, now a big task ahead uh, to, to take on uh, to, to transform that community into a, a better setting for Ugandans. But uh, Ugandan, Uganda Parliamentary Association is a, um, a, a body that brings together journalists who are created to cover parliament. We are not employees of parliament. We are only accredited to cover parliament on a daily basis. It's a group of more than 250 journalists. And uh, um, I, I now convey my greetings from parliamentary press uh, to you, uh, Timo, and the viewers out there. It's a pleasure being here this evening. Thank you so much, Paul, and you're most welcome. Thank you. And to you, our viewers, to contribute into the discussion, we have a comment section, and to our new members, you're most welcome. Please uh, subscribe and tap on the not notification button so that when this, this is aired, you can easily be notified. And uh, to, to the general public, you are most welcome to this discussion. So we shall delve direct into this. We shall start with the, the, the journalists and their role in promoting uh, accountability, democracy, and good governance, especially in, the, in, in a parliamentary, in, in our current system. So I'll start with you, Apollo. Mm -hmm. what, uh, what, what is the role of, uh, of, of your current uh, leadership in promoting and ensuring that uh, the public is able to receive information mm. and hold the, the current leadership and leadership generally mm. accountable. Yes, like I said, uh, our viewers, uh, we, we are not uh, employees of parliament, but we, uh, we, were, we are accredited to be in parliament, to access committees of parliament, uh, the, the plenary proceedings, we cover them, but we also have the privilege of 
uh, traveling at, at times with uh, uh, committees of parliament to, uh, uh, I mean, uh, on their oversight uh, uh, field visits. And, uh, and, and that's uh, how we can also uh, be able to, to report on, on what parliament does, um, on what business it conducts. And, and, and again, uh, as journalists, uh, we have uh, that role uh, to, to inform, uh, to educate, and, 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 and uh, basically at, uh, at parliament, our role is to uh, take uh, that information to the public, especially on what parliament does. And uh, in our watchdog role, we also uh, hold uh, 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 that arm of government, the legislature, to account in one or another. We understand uh, that um, the three arms of government, uh, legislature on one side, the executive on the other side, and then the judicial on the other side, somehow um, they, 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 they have uh, those bodies that do oversight on them. For instance, um, we, we have the Office of the, of the Auditor General, uh, which uh, to some extent is part of Parliament, but it does oversight on Parliament. But then um, the, the force asset also steps in to complement that effort uh, to, to ensure that uh, the politicians, um, uh, the legislature is, 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 is held to account. Because um, on one side there is ex the executive, then the legislature on this side. And, and, and those th three arms somehow um, can, can, I want to use the word collude, they, they can decide to do possibly what is not in the interest of the public. Mm. And then, uh, like I said, uh, other bodies must come in, the IGG's office, the, 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 the office of the Dr. General, and now the forces state also steps in in that way. And that is uh, in that capacity that we are in Parliament to complement uh, those bodies to hold uh, uh, the legislators and the administration of Parliament to account. And we do it uh, basically through reporting for us. Uh, what we have is a pen and a notebook and, and, and cameras and recorders and, uh, and and that is basically what we do in Parliament and that's the role we play in, 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 in building in building a, a democracy. So thank you Apollo and the, 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 the work that uh, UPPA has done in the past has been uh, exceedingly well. Mm. However, there have been concerns that um, there the, the, the are concerns that the journalists sometimes are compromised. Mm -hmm. Sometimes uh, some the, the nature and the environment in which journalists work does not allow them to to account mm -hmm. to, to to hold the leadership at whatever level mm -hmm. accountable. We know that um, the, the remuneration to journalists is the big issue, mm -hmm. and that uh, may affect the the, the output. Mm -hmm. And in the new leadership that uh, you, you you are part of. At Parliament, mm. what are some? How how can how what can be done to improve the level of reporting, the level of holding the leadership accountable? Uh, it is it is important to acknowledge that uh, possibly um, uh, there could be um, there could be limitations to, to our work, and they exist indeed, and they have been with us for some time. Um, you, to, you, you, you alluded to uh, the issue of, uh, of remuneration. Yes, uh, remuneration uh, uh, may not may be an issue, but we have um, an ethical code that we, as journalists, uh, we must follow and, and adhere to. Um, th 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 there have been issues of, of, of journalists being compromised here and there. Well, it is, it, 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 it is, it is work in progress. As Uganda Parliamentary Press Association, it's one of our our, our, our roles to ensure that uh, we promote and uh, ensure that journalists who cover Parliament adhere to professional ethics. We have been doing that, but I want to tell you, um, Timothy and and, and, and and Honorable and our viewers, that uh, at times um, those issues. Uh, can go beyond uh, we uh, as, 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 as Uganda Parliamentary Press Association. Some of them actually can go uh, beyond the, the profession itself. Because if you, if you, if you, if you, if you look at um, journalism and uh, worldwide, 
not only here in Uganda, uh, it is now becoming, uh, uh, I mean, it is under, under, under serious threat all, all, all over. Um, leave alone um, issues of, 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 of maybe the, the, the working environment becoming hostile, but even the people we deal with, the people we, we work for, now no longer appreciate our, our, our service, our, our work. And uh, um, journalism, our product is a public good. We, 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 we do what we do for the public. Actually, in Parliament, for us, we are there as the eyes of the public. We have to work and, and do everything in, in the interest of, of the public. So there is that environment that is now becoming a bit toxic. Um, you, you, you may blame us and some of us for having been compromised here and there. But then even the environment is, is becoming uh, very, very toxic. We, you, 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 you can now think of, of the legal environment. Mm. It, is, it is coming down on us. We are, we are now even uh, this time looking at how we can maneuver and, and, and stay um, afloat. I mean, keep pushing our profession. But the environment is changing. Not only the legal environment, but even the digital era has, has also affected us in one way or another. There is citizen journalism now. Fake news is, is, is all over. And it comes back to us mm. that how can we actually keep um, um, uh, and adhere to the, to the professional ethics? How can we keep putting out good journalism and, and, and serving the public? Well, like I said, it, some may be beyond us, but some are within our control and we do our best to see that we keep it running and running well. Thank you, Apollo. And uh, to Honorable Bigger, you, you have been, uh, <coughs> I think this may, I may not be very authoritative, but I think that you, are, you, you, are, you have benefited from the, the work of, of, of journalists. And um, whether at, at, at the local level, in radio stations, social media, at whatever level. I, I want to, to, to get your insights as a legislator into the work of, 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 of journalists and how the work they do can easily be protected to ensure that we get the best out of them as a fourth estate. Yeah, uh, thank you so much. Um, I want to say the media doesn't look the fourth estate is the heart of everything. Because whatever we do in parliament, unless it's relayed by media, it will be speaking to ourselves. And honestly, uh, they have done so tremendous work from the time I joined Parliament. We, I only got a small hiccup when they reported the, the number of times I rose to sp speak on the floor of Parliament. Mm -hmm. I don't know where they got the information from. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the number of times was like a quarter. Okay. So, and also going to committee, maybe they also find it so difficult because the handset, some rooms don't have handset and so forth. But a lot of work is done at committee level. Two, they helped so much to awaken the sleeping MPs or mm. those who are not there in the house. Mm. Those who got zero, mm. they had a lot to explain. Mm. Some of us went smiling down, much as <laughs> I was offended that it was so little. <laughs> mm. <laughs> but uh, honestly, they, they helped to correct us a lot. Even mm. those who, are, who cannot articulate issues, You'll be forced to buy a mirror and speak to yourself. Mm -hmm. Checks mm -hmm. and balances. Mm -hmm. They are core and key. And the administration of parliament cannot run short of facilitating them. Not necessarily, I mean, not buying them, but just facilitating them, making them uh, comfortable to do their work. They are human. They are human. So far, so good. I have not had challenges with them, but you know, the issue is there are so many media houses. Others in Luganda, some mm. of us don't speak <laughs> Luganda. Then when they bump mm. into you, you are not able to speak the language they want. Mm. At times they get frustrated. Others, you don't see the news at all. So when they maybe try to play the news, mm. it doesn't come. And then mm. you, as a member of parliament, you go, you sit, you also want to see yourself and say, mm. how mm. have I performed today? Mm. Mm. But uh, I would really say their function is really, really crucial. 
uh, any suggestions uh, we can uh, compare and uh, share notes and see mm -hmm. how we can make their work comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, honestly, it's my first time to interact closely with the Secretary General. Yeah. Uh, my work comes out maybe because of the way I, I do it. Otherwise, I have not paid any money to them. Yeah. If it was now money, then the people of Terego would not be having. Because how much can I pay to a journalist? <laughs> to lay? Yeah, I, I appreciate, honestly, I appreciate. Yeah, Only hold everyone accountable. Let's use our consciousness to do the right thing. If you protect others, then you unearth others, then you'll be judged wrongly before God, if not before the community whose interests you serve. It's good to call a spade a spade, but not a big spoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Apollo, uh, recently under the new leadership, uh, there we saw the speaker, uh, the, the relationship between UPPA, that's mm -hmm. Uganda Parliamentary Press Association, and the current leadership at Parliament seems to be a good one, mm -hmm. which is healthy for the environment. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we we saw the the, the promises towards the, the the new leadership at, at the institutional level. Mm -hmm. We. The, 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 I think that was I think fifty million yeah. and uh, a, a bus, mm. which which is good. Uh, but however, the concern seems to how do you strike the balance mm. between between mm. being compromised and uh, and executing your work, mm. both in terms of perceptionally but also in reality. Yes, um, it is true. Uh, the principle speaker of parliament um, during our swearing in ceremony uh, she pledged to contribute to our welfare part of our welfare and um, um, it was our initiative at parliament that um, um, what we've talked about issues of remuneration uh, issues of, of, of welfare of journalists is part of our agenda, actually part of our mandate that we must ensure that the journalists who cover parliament, um, um, we fight for their welfare. That is part of our mandate. So in, 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 in that regard, we started a parliament journalist circle as a, as a pool where we can, uh, we can collect funds such that if a journalist has a, a, a project, has a, maybe um, the gadgets have, 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 have a problem, she or he can go to the circle and borrow and, and go out and, and buy a new gadget in case. Because we even, actually we don't uh, only have journalists who are employed by private media houses. We even have freelancers, people who, who are journalists, but they are not, they are not employed anywhere. They just... Mm -hmm. They just uh, come and do their work and, they, and actually sell their product to, to, to media houses. Those are called freelancers. So um, we put up that circle to help them. And in that regard, when we were um, being sworn in, uh, the speaker, we did not initiate um, um, a request in any way, but we talked about, of course, how far we have moved that now we have a journalist circle, like some form, form of accountability on that event to the members. Then out of courtesy, I think, she said, okay, if you have a circle, and we will see how we can facilitate you and, 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 and help put in something. And in that regard, she, she pledged to, to give us 50 million into our circle, not we journalists taking it to our pockets. And, and uh, that circle is uh, registered under uh, the laws of Uganda, and uh, it, it is run by professionals. You, we don't wake up one day and you go and you pick money. So it is like any other circle. And um, those uh, circles are, are elsewhere. Even, even I think members of parliament have their pension. They, they, mm -hmm. they, they have their they, they, they are, they are welfare. So we, it, it is through that initiative that the speaker of parliament said, okay, I will give you that money, put it in the circle so that you improve your welfare in that mm. way. It's not about compromising us or, mm. or buying us. Yeah. So that is the thing. And uh, on the issue of the bus, um, I told you that we are not employees of parliament. So we are, we, we are, um, our association with parliament is limited. Actually, we are strangers in parliament. That is the, 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 the nomenclature in parliament. We are strangers. We are not like my honorable here. Mm. We have, 
um, there is a limit to, to how we relate to Parliament, how we the privileges of Parliament. We do not get Which any can privilege. Be drone at any yeah, time. we do not even get any privilege from Parliament. Mm -hmm. What we get is uh, space to operate. They gave us an office. I have an office, and our members we have an office at Parliament mm -hmm. for the parliamentary press where we sit. Um, they gave us computers like any. Um, in the other office at Parliament, we have computers there, several of them. When you go to the uh, lobby or you go to, you, you are from Prenard and you, th you think you need to, to work your story around the precincts of Parliament, mm. you can go there to our office and you do it from there. Then you send it either by mail to, to, to the studios or to your, to, to your workplace. So um, 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 I, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you how we relate to Parliament. We, we do not have privileges um, of in any way at Parliament. We are given space to operate, and that is all. So that is uh, that is how it came up. The Speaker out of Katase uh, pledged. It was a pledge, mm -hmm. and, and uh, we know that uh, possibly she will she will she will, she will, she will honour the pledge. We have not received it, but possibly she will honour the pledge. And um, the van came up in a way uh, uh, like I was saying when we journalists want to move out. For instance, we have a colleague, uh, he or she has lost a, um, a relative or mm. what, we need to travel. And in that way, of, in that manner of solidarity, mm. we need to go and escort. Mm. So all along we have been uh, using the vehicles of parliament. We ask, I write through my office, I write to the transport department in parliament, they give us a van and we use the vehicles of parliament. But this but you, you see that process, how it, it may be tedious. Mm -hmm. one, and, and we said, if we can procure a van ourselves. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, because some of the people, of course, around, uh, uh, around the speaker, some of them are our colleagues. Maybe they, they got to know that we, we need a van. And, uh, and out of Katase, because we didn't, actually we didn't, um, make any request uh, to, to the speaker's office or anyone, but she, she said, okay, we'll also uh, look into that. If you, I, I come to know that you need a van, if, if I, she promised that in the next meeting of the parliamentary commission, she will, um, she will, she, she will table that, uh, uh, that, uh, that, that um, idea. If it is supported, then they will give us a van. So. That's how it came up also. That's good. Thank you so much. And uh, we do appreciate really the work you do. Mm -hmm. Though the, I think the balance between how, uh, the privilege, it's, it may not be privileges, but mm -hmm. the, 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 the upcoming issues that the, the, your capacity probably to, uh, to hold the, mm -hmm. the leadership accountable. Mm -hmm. So Honorable Bigger, from your perspective and, and the legislative perspective as, as a legislator, what can be done to, to improve the, the, the state, the, the status of the, of the journalists at the, at, at, the, at the country level, but also maybe specifically at parliament? Because you see they, they are interacting and they are crisscrossing across the corridors of power. And uh, you need, to, 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 you need a, a poor tested that can, can hold the leadership accountable, but not to, to, to be in conflict with them. Yeah, uh, uh, thank you. Um, you know, the journalists are not like uh, the vulnerable people of uh, Terigo, I present. <laughs> <laughs> At least they can speak mm -hmm. and yeah. uh, give suggestions on what the parliament can do for them mm -hmm. to be comfortable. Mm -hmm. But most importantly is to treat them with dignity mm -hmm. and respect mm -hmm. and also to appreciate their work mm -hmm. and, and the find ways of really... Uh, making their work and they themselves comfortable. Because yeah. uh, saying they report lies or what they report is not authentic or lack of appreciation. You know, yeah. once somebody says thank you or oh, work well done, you find the person get energized. I always just imagine what should click at the back of their mind is mm -hmm. being conscious mm -hmm. and stand by dignity. You shouldn't be swept off your way mm -hmm. because any simple reporting which is not uh, correct 
will take you to apologizing and then they make it, it, it derails so much. But a lot can be done for yeah. the journalists. Mm -hmm. I, I thought, uh, uh, for example, the, there is need to bring to the speaker's attention how best we can uh, help journalists, not only those who work in parliament, but uh, elsewhere, you know. Yeah taking their gadgets, beating them, treating them with uh, disrespect is wrong. Yeah. It, they are human beings. They are doing a very good work for this country, like uh, reporting what takes place and government needs to put an eye there quickly. It's done by the journalists. Yeah. You find a bridge in your constituency you yeah. are not even aware of, yet you are representing them. And then once they bring the story, they know how to spice it, so that quickly you get you get attention to that. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, now that I'm with my brother, uh, I will try to get interested and mm -hmm. see how best they want us to position them. Yeah. But treating them with dignity is one crucial thing, and also you know until when we reach a point when we have this in this country enough for all of us. There is enough for all of us, but there's too much corruption. Yeah. So it looks like. The country is running in deficit. The country does not have enough. There are too many greedy people in this country. Mm -hmm. So if we can put greed aside, we'll be able to support journalists, build on them, but they also need to do refresher courses. Yeah. Some of the journalists, you believe me, they have outlived their usefulness. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, you really have to always keep at par with the uh, kind of uh, environment you are living in. Because parliament, members of parliament are not at the same, all are not at the yeah, same. You yeah, find yeah. others with PhDs, you find others barely with the senior six or its equivalents. So you, to adjust and fit in this kind of situation is not easy. And they shouldn't take sides. You yeah. really don't have to take sides to make sure that uh, MPs appreciate, not only MPs, because you're working for uh, the, the common good mm. of the common man out there. So a lot can be done for mm. them, really. Mm. But of course, we need to get a paper. You, don't, you cannot present it yourself. But we can't put it through a matter of national importance. Okay. Mm. So many times, if uh, a, a journalist is attacked, it comes on the floor of parliament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, you see these people, even if you close the doors, they say, they put their ears on the <laughs> ground. How their ears can listen, mm -hmm. even when we are not speaking loud, mm -hmm. tells you that mm -hmm. they play a crucial mm -hmm. role. Mm -hmm. Like when we have our NRM meetings, they are not there. But you come out, even before coming out, they already <laughs> have the information. Yet our mm -hmm. phones are taken away. We don't mm -hmm. have phones. And so they... They, they really, these journalists in parliament know their work. Yeah. They know what to do and they know how to deal with us. Yeah. I, 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 I wish to appreciate uh, um, the Honorable um, for, for, of course, appreciating our, our contribution. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I also want to, to, to allude the fact that, um, like I started in the beginning, the environment is becoming hostile. very, very hostile to us. The profession is really under under threat. She she talked about the journalists who are assaulted, who are beaten and, and brutalized. It, it's, it's common. We, we've seen it. Mm -hmm. But I, I wanted also to to tell her that uh, and everyone that even the people we report about, mm -hmm. um, it is it, it is it is it is two way. At times, you report them. You report about them and they appreciate when you report something good about them. Mm -hmm. But for us, our profession demands uh, objectivity, mm -hmm. um, fairness, accuracy, and, and all that. So um, when you report something accurate, but mm -hmm. at, to some extent, or they feel it hurts them, then you become an enemy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you, if, you, mm -hmm. if, if, you, if, you, if you see what I'm saying. You talked about the, the scorecard mm -hmm. uh, that somehow you said you did not like. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't attack you. <laughs> that is the difference. Mm -hmm. I accepted it. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, and I must tell you that we journalists do not actually work on that scorecard. Mm -hmm. it, usually, it is usually worked on by NGOs. Uh, for instance, uh, Timothy Nodit, that we have entities like Africa Leadership Institute, 
uh, which has been doing that for a very long time. There are others who come up with those scorecards. We publish, we publish them. So you see, you, you, you are looking at <laughs> us as, as, as people who actually did that. They have researchers who do that work and they give them information and possibly we can help them um, um, uh, verify and, yeah, but, but by, for us we. So, so but, but mm. just the specific one and mm. the one which Honorable is referring, mm. the most recent scorecard mm. Mm. was conducted by New Vision, yeah, okay. not in collaboration with Afri, okay. yes, African yeah. League. No. So the, the previous ones, mm. there have been collaboration between the, 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 the media house and the, yeah, the entity and, mm. to, 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 to bring up the scorecard. But mm. this specific one, yeah. it, it, was, uh, it was by New, New, by New Vision. Vision. Mm. So that's why I think a number yeah. of, uh, actually, there is a member of parliament who, who, who threatened to proceed to court. <laughs> However, there had been a mediation, mediation on the same. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it has reached there. Yeah. You but, see, now I'm at 20, 28 times speaking on the floor of parliament. Yeah. This time, mm -hmm. I'll not give them chances <laughs> because I write the date mm -hmm. <laughs> and, uh, and, and the time mm -hmm. when I have spoken and, as, and I've spoken on which item. Yeah. And not many MPs can do this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but of course, some things. Human beings should learn to ignore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And facts should speak for themselves. Yeah. If what you are telling uh, uh, to the public about me is, is the mm -hmm. fact, mm -hmm. then why get annoyed? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's not a fa fact, why fight you? So at times it's good to get together like mediation mm -hmm. and let go. And that's why I said they need to professionalize mm -hmm. themselves. They need to refresh their courses. And all this needs money. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why I, I do not believe in brutalization of mm -hmm media. Mm -hmm. If you brutalize them, you actually worsen the situation. Yeah. And I know it will come down. Because time comes even if we're in politics mm -hmm. and we think we can brutalize you. You can even destroy us. Mm -hmm. This is a sensitive mm -hmm. estate to deal with. Yeah. And, uh, not yeah, because um, they honorable, can kill us. Honorable, I, I, I appreciate the fact that even uh, within ourselves, we can, we can acknowledge that indeed there are some reports that come out and they, they have, they, 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 they are somehow... They are substandard. Yeah, yeah they are inaturated in one mm, or another. Yeah, yeah. But you see, it, it also goes down to individual journalists. Mm. For us, we have, uh, like I told you, you have to be objective in reporting, mm. you have to be fair, you have to be accurate. Yeah. You know? So it goes back to that individual journalist or individual media house to, to do that thorough job. Mm. But um, what we cannot forget also is that the people we report about also at times want to, 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 to squeeze us, want, want, want us to do possibly. Um, and, and when you even come out with, with facts, mm. even when you come out with facts, and they feel that those facts somehow uh, dates their political, uh, their, 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 their political uh, career or, or, or ambitions, they will, they will go out for you. You have seen it. People have mm. reported uh, at times, for instance, in Parliament, at times we report about uh, what happens back door, uh, the, the, the money that is, that, for instance, in 2005, lifting of term limits, 5 million was, was given out. Mm. But I am sure the person who reported it was reprimanded and was saying, where mm. did you get this? But now everyone Even knows. Recently you yes. said we got money. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> everyone, well, but you. now everyone knows <laughs> that uh, lifting of term limits and even age limit, mm. money was what was given mm. out. So mm. I'm saying, mm. what um, what at times what we report, even when it is facts, mm. when they are facts, we, we, we are looked at as people who who are not uh, I mean sensitive to their to their political ambitions yeah. who are fighting them so we I think we should like she said strike a balance on, on how we can both work with each other because they need us we also need them because we, we actually support them we we make people we make politicians some yeah. of them yeah. actually are in offices where they are because we wrote about them, we wrote something good about them. So that was that what I was saying that we now need uh, 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 the public and everyone to appreciate the contribution of journalism as a profession, mm. the media as an industry or as a sector. That this is not here as an enemy, but they are here to complement mm. uh, on, on the growth of democracy. When we we report about elections, for instance, you know that elections 
uh, is a very sensitive period. An election period is very sensitive. Now, uh, uh, when you take that picture, for instance, of a campaign rally where there are children only attending a campaign rally, <laughs> the, 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 politi the politician no, will not like the camera. You know? No, not focusing. <laughs> I'm assuming. <laughs> I'm assuming I have taken a photograph, mm. and it is. It, it brings out the uh, accurately mm. what has been on the ground. But the politician will not like it uh, uh, that way. For, for, for them, they may want me possibly not to publish that story. Mm. For instance, we have, we have unearthed stories about, I mean, corruption scandals. It's we who have, uh, many of these scandals you see, it is mm. we who initiate, who, who bring it to light. It bring it to light. But do you think the person who has stolen billions of money we want that story to run. Some of our journalists have been kidnapped. Some of them have been poisoned. Some others have been actually uh, 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 brutalized for, for bringing out facts, which are actually accurate. So I'm saying that um, it is time to appreciate the role of journalism, to appreciate what journalists do, what reporters in parliament do, and possibly we can strike um, a, a fair ground on where we can both um, uh, operate because we both need each other and we are all looking at how we can grow our democracy. I just need also to just inform me that um, the people you are reporting about, mm. this current parliament which uh, Honorable Bigger here is part, mm. is one of the most educated parliaments that we have. Yeah. Close to 39% of them, 39.3% mm. mm. of rate. them, mm. no, 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 they have must at least oh. they have master's degrees, yeah. including honorable here. Mm -hmm. At least they have master's degree. Mm -hmm. You have that 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 eight percent of them, mm -hmm. at least having a bachelor's degree, mm -hmm. and the postgraduate degree they go up to that three percent. Only six percent of them, at least they have less than a diploma. So you see that it is a it's a fairly educated mm -hmm. and uh, exposed sort of uh, parliament. Mm -hmm. And so even in your reporting, it means that the, the, the journalists have to be a bit. Mm -hmm. Uh, well equipped with knowledge and sufficient mm -hmm. capacity. Yeah, but recently, yeah. just just to highlight on something on that, recently there have been concerns, I think, from this parliament uh, leadership over the reporting of the parliamentary pension amendment bill. Mm -hmm. That uh, I think one of the media houses had reported that it it had resulted into the increase of the salaries. Mm -hmm. But also there have been other there, there, there have been concerns of misreporting. Mm -hmm. Of, of, of misrepresentation of what's happening. Sometimes it could be true, but sometimes you find that it's, it could be true. So how do you handle the truth? Mm. Well, um, I, 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 I take note of, of, of that report. Uh, and even uh, at our event, the speaker talked about it. She was uh, not happy. Uh, even on the floor of parliament, I remember in a communication before, uh, as, as plenary started, she talked about uh, the daily monitor story about uh, the pension um, 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 act uh, amendment, and uh, um, she, she, she was she, she 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 refuted the report, which claimed that uh, uh, that Parliament was secretly trying to uh, the MPs were secretly moving to increase their salary, and. Um, well, um, it, 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 it could have been, there could have been some level of, 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 of misreporting, but indeed, um, 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 uh, the move was, was, was uh, of course, it was, it was true, it, it is in Parliament. And this, the story uh, alluded to um, a, a provision where the, 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 the contribution, the contributions to the pension um, we are being adjusted high, I mean moving up. Mm. And automatically, according to, 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 to that act, when the, 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 the contribution, the individual contribution of MPs uh, is adjusted up, then the employer, government, also has to contribute. Yeah. The contribution on the side of the employer has also to go up. So it was somehow a fact. But uh, what she refuted was the percentage, because uh, the monitor reported 40 percent increase in the salary by, by 40 percent. But, but 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 there was truth in that story. I can I can, I can say mm. only that there could also have been some uh, inaccuracies in that way. Okay, let me help you. Yeah. I sit on the Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee, mm. and uh, the law says 
Mm. When I want to increase my savings, mm. it cannot have impact on the consolidated fund. Yeah. It's until when I want to increase the salary. Mm. That is when it would have an impact on the consolidated fund. Mm. Now, what the journalists didn't get well was we wanted to increase on our savings. Mm. Like, for example, if you have $5 million, now, I want to increase my savings mm -hmm. from 600 to 1 million, mm -hmm. which means uh, uh, I'll pick 1 million out of the 5 million. Yeah. But it's different from when I want to increase my salary from 5 million to 8 million. To 8 million. So yeah. that is where the match match was. Mm -hmm. And that's when finance advice, if it is us saving, we are saving 15%. Mm -hmm. Now, we want to save 20 mm -hmm. It's not that we want to add 20% mm. on our salary. No. The, the law says we mm. want to increase on yeah. our savings. That is why, why she got that. Why, was the, why did the president... Uh, uh, I mean, uh, the uh, advice they gave him, mm. uh, the, the, there was a legal lacuna, a gap. That if we increase on our savings, automatically the contribution of government will rise. Mm. No. It's until when we increase our salary, mm. that is when the, the percentage from government will have to increase. Mm. But of course, if looking at the year, we cannot increase uh, right now mm. our salary. It's already late. Mm. So that is where the issue was for us. I have, I have, I have a couple of the president's letter. I know, I even got mm. it uh, mm. as a member of the committee. Mm. But we had not reached at the point of increasing mm. the, the salary. His concern was if we increase our savings, meaning the contribution to us would increase. But no, legally, if we increase within our current salary, then we can't affect the consolidated fund. Mm. It's until when we add more money on our salary. Mm. It's automatic that government contribution has to rise. Yeah, but but the mm. Minister of Finance advised the president that uh, it will... Is it your first time to see Minister of Finance advise wrongly? Okay. Because the, <laughs> their advice was, they were fearing that mm. if we increase to 20%... Mm. It will directly affect... Affect, yes. Mm. That, that, but now, mm. that is when we increase on the salary. If we don't increase on the salary, we only increase out of our current salary. It cannot affect there is no way it can affect because where is government supposed to get the extra money from? You are saving more. For example, in our circle, mm. you can choose to save one million. Another MP is, is saving 40 million. Mm. Does it affect anything? That is what we are saying. Does it affect like the MP who is saving 40 million is now given more money? No. You can choose to save two million. Me, I save five million. Mm. You understand? So if you have been saving five, I've been saving five million, you are saving two million, why don't you come and we'll be at five? So that, mm. uh, the money, by the way, honestly, if you see MPs uh, who have left parliament in the canteen, mm. you cry. Yeah. Because their conditions are so pathetic. Reasons why people wanted to increase this mm. is that from like a first time MP like me, if I lost mm. the... <coughs> Excuse me. If I lost, I will not qualify for pension. Mm. But they wanted to increase to 20 so that I can qualify. My savings would have increased. And then even if I lose, I'll qualify for that. Because looking at our colleagues who lost, you cannot believe it. But, Many are mm. so desperate and they come yeah, with a yeah, lot of I, 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 I appreciate that, uh, well, uh, many uh, MPs who have uh, mm. maybe uh, failed to, to, to turn up in an election mm. have not lived a uh, so good life. We have, we have seen them in a, in a not so good condition. But, but, but again, this is not, not the first time um, an attempt of, 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 of that nature is happening. There have mm. been uh, several attempts for Parliament to 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 to, 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 to increase on their emoluments. You remember what um, mm. even caused the storm the other time when they increased the, their barrier expenses. You remember what oh, 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 uh, the backlash it, 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 it generated in the public. So that, that was in the tenth Parliament. Yes, mm. even the, the, the when they increased the money for vehicles to two hundred million. You remember. So it is not the first time it is happening. 
um, um, to see our, our honorable members of parliament uh, trying to, 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 to live um, um, that comfortable and lavish lifestyle when, um, I mean, at the expense of, of, of taxpayers. Well, we can appreciate that they, they are also, they have now many, um, many, many, um, I mean, many, um, many hands to, to reach out to, I mean, to, to, mm. to, to the constituencies now, uh, MPs actually at one point we are told they those who live up country who who come from up country they over we on, on weekends they, they, they stay in the, in Kampala here they fear going back to their voters knowing that they will find them lining up I mean, I mean uh, um, in in their compounds waiting for for, for for some money for school fees and all that so um, I, I think it goes back to 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 the members of parliament themselves how now can you change this whole uh, environment where you you have much many pressing needs on you which you cannot i mean you which 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 you cannot afford it goes back to you uh, uh, honorable you, you can agree with me that uh, well as as well as people can appreciate that indeed you need to uplift or to have your privileges increased and in, and, 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 and improved it, it is partly you're making it's, it, it's not a new thing it's yes. out of the salary we are getting mm. if we wanted to increase our savings out of uh, pa uh, parliament adding more money mm. to themselves then definitely but this is the existing money we have and lastly you know unless people are pretending when a member of parliament dies in accident they are just pretending to say oh so sorry hustle rest in peace which vehicle can you buy in this country at 200 million and it's in good condition if not these are the tx which jump jump and kill the best vehicle you can get in this country very good is around 800 million 500 600 800 which vehicle can you get? And yet, this is one-time event. Five years down the road, we are the ones who fuel the car. You are supposed to be in the constituency. I think I'm a unique MP. Mm. I don't go to the constituency every weekend. Mm. But when I go, I show cause why I've not been there. Mm. There are things that need us during weekends. Like now we have to go and look at some crucial bills that must be passed by next week. From here, I'll enter my car, mm. drive to the hotel. Up to Sunday, we are working. Up to Monday, we are working. Tuesday, we are on the floor of parliament presenting. So it is not about going there. Me, in Terego, nobody comes to line up. And the way people of Terego do their things is quite different. But of course, the engagement over weekends. You look at the PSCs, for example, PS and commissioners. Mm. Look at the kind of cars they drive, the executive directors. It's a quarter of the cars we drive. A quarter of these uh, 200 million. So when the community talks about 200 million, I get perturbed. Government programs basically are run by MPs. Another MP is building a health center. You are buying uh, an ambulance. You are working on a road. You are buying. Which is not your role. Which is not. But mm. of course, if you look at a pathetic situation of community, the money we are talking about here, you give it back. Me personally, I didn't buy a new car. Ask where my money is. It is with my people in Terego. Honorable, I said you should. It, it, the ball is in your court. Exactly. It goes but back to you. It is you politicians who have commercialized politics. It is you who stand on, on, on podiums during campaigns and promise um, bridges where there are no rivers. It's you who tell people that you will build health, uh, centers in communities. When it is not no. within your mind. If you find your people are dying of uh, hunger, your people are dying of uh, all types of diseases, mm. honestly, must you wait for government that has uh, little resources or you do the needful? You see, it is good to go out of your way. Yeah, I cannot allow my people to die like in Karamoja and I sit back. Mm. That is why when people were busy on the 100,000 for COVID, I went down to Terigo. I said, what is it? Really, you think 100,000 can change your life? We cannot do but, this. But honorable, you, 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 you agree. <laughs> for viewers, thank you so much for keeping with us in, the, in this discussion. We shall be going for a break and we shall, when we return, we shall be looking into the, the bills which were, were given leave by parliament to be introduced for fast reading. Among them, we shall be looking at the alcohol control bill 
than the Consumer Protection Bill. See you right after break. Digital rights are those human rights and legal rights that allow individuals to access, use, create and publish digital media or to access and use computers, other electronic devices and telecommunication networks. Digital rights include a right to freedom of expression, information and communication through technology, a right to privacy and data protection, a right to credit for personal works, a right to universal and equal digital access, a right to identity, a right to anonymity, a right to be forgotten and a right for protection of minors among others. The state's digital rights are frequently violated through various unfair actions, for example, blockage of websites and social networks, theft of credentials, unauthorized use of people's data for personal gain, privacy intrusion, online censorship, arrests and intimidation of online users, internet blockages, and a proliferation of laws and regulations that undermine the potential of technology to drive social, economic, and political development worldwide. It is hence every citizen's responsibility to respect rights of other digital users and to speak speak out or report to the responsible parties when one's rights are violated. Welcome back to, to, to this show again. For those joining us, you're most welcome. Uh, and thank you so much. You can keep this discussion going through our comments uh, in the YouTube and other social medias. You're most welcome. And now we, we delve into this week where Parliament uh, granted two members of Parliament leave to introduce uh, two distinct bills. One of them, Alcohol Control Bill. The other is the Consumer Protection Bill. The Alcohol Control Bill has, has, has uh, attracted quite uh, quite uh, interesting comments and reaction from the public. And this, this, the, the member who was given leave is Honorable Sarah, Sarah Opendi. And the bill was seconded by Honorable Bigaros here. We want to, to, to get from your perspective, what does this mean to the ordinary citizen? Yeah, all right. Thank you, uh, moderator, and thank you, viewer. I really want to say this bill is going uh, uh, through the right direction. One, we're not saying Ugandans should not drink. No. We are saying, can we moderate? Can we see we regulate our production, consumption, and branding. Recently, we saw in West Nile, many people dying, although the, the ones that were verified were only 15, but very many died. And we MPs from West Nile, the time this happened, uh, when people consumed uh, poisoned, uh, is it a uh, city five or five city? I even don't want to know the, mm -hmm. right, the mm -hmm. writing mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I could not sleep. And you'd really know that there is a problem. Not only this, one time um, youth out of curiosity went to Adrico Seven Hill and uh, consumed not diluted uh, mm -hmm. alcohol. I'm telling you, many lost their eyes and uh, I think one or two died. Mm -hmm. Not only this, many, many people have died out of alcohol in this country. And therefore, not regulating the time. Many children have been born with multiple health challenges people having uh, children having hollow uh, sections uh, heart hollow what so much others have uh, some syndromes down is it down drawn mm. you, you you even see a baby is drunk and and two i'm not only saying uh, men alone i'm sorry that was how my brother quoted me mm. but of course you look at the majority the number of women drinking alcohol vis-a-vis -vis the number of men. And in the African culture, in our tradition, it's perpetual on the man to take care of his family. So if a man fails to take care of the family, what am I supposed to say next? Mm -hmm. You find children looking for school fees, and yet they have their family. You find women running around. You say, my husband has now become an addict. If we don't regulate, we shall have so, so many cases of people who have become ad addicts. If you go to uh, this uh, center in Butabika, yeah. the percentage of people who are there because of alcoholism is more than the rest. So why would Ugandans say they want to look at taxes? 
we are here, we are trying, me and Opendi and the others are trying to reduce taxes in this country. Taxes for who? If the people become drunkards and they cannot think right, so you want taxes because of these people, honestly. How much does a bottle of beer now cost? Mm -hmm. Even if you went to Terego, the cheapest of a beer is 4000 mm -hmm. Now, if a day, of course, if you consume excessively, they take not more, less than 20 mm -hmm. Yet these are people who cannot even buy good food. Because children from the age of zero, the mother must feed well to breastfeed. Mm -hmm. And then when they start feeding little from uh, six months, they must be given specific food. These are people who cannot provide anything. Mm -hmm. Accommodation is a problem. Mm -hmm. So we need to, to collectively join hand. And then say, oh, MPs are taking 200 million of mm -hmm. vehicles. Who are they to talk about alcohol? I think this is not being sensitive mm -hmm. to the local poor person, mm -hmm. to this country. There are so many ways uh, we can have collect taxes in this country, not to the specifically alcohol, alcoholism. And packaging. Now they make it really near and attractive to the, the, the local person. Mm. Yeah, there, there are some names that really make it feel like if you take this in bed, you'll be so active. Senke, you know, this kind mm, of you. Mm, mm, mm. Once you take it, you take off like yeah, a, a yeah, senke. Yeah, yeah. You mm. know, the drinks, the, yeah, the, this is a drink that energizes a man. You know, they write the small, tiny writings are not being um, uh, regulated. Yeah. And the packaging, as small, it's available to the other poor person. And the, as the smaller it is, the alcoholic content in it is so yeah, high. Yeah, yeah. So if we don't control it, then we are going to lose all the Ugandans. Yeah. So we are not saying mm -hmm. don't drink. We are saying, can we regulate it for the good of the common man? But honorable, you know, while you are, which, which the public feel is appreciating that you are doing your mandate, which is which one of them is legislation, there are concerns that we are legislating on, on, on the, we are legislating on, on the, on wrong things. Mm -hmm. That uh, we are, instead of instead of legislating on the causes, we are looking at the effects, and many people actually argue that, uh, that we could choose to look at why people are heading into this direction, as opposed to why they are taking this specific item. So the, the argument has been that there are many factors. I think there are societal issues that contribute towards people taking this alcohol in whatever way. Why can't we look at the, the, the causes? Yes, uh, many youths uh, wrote and said there's uh, unemployment in this country. Uh, why don't we talk about uh, unemployment? I always try to uh, make people understand me by giving my personal experience. Yeah. If I were to think this way, with four degrees, I didn't have a good job. Mm. The highest salary I earned before joining parliament was uh, 2.1 million. Yeah. That is gross. That yeah. is not even it. Yeah. But yeah. I do, you, even the way I articulate issues and the way I reason, you can know that I really am a person who has capacity. But maybe if it didn't have it, I would attend interviews, I wouldn't get the jobs. Yeah. So I took to doing personal things. I would make sure I buy produce from this, little money, and give it to schools and pay tuition for my siblings. Nine of us out of my sweat got degrees, not because I was employed somewhere. Mm -hmm. People think employment means I should put on a white collar, go to sit in an office. No. You can work and work hard and make ends meet. Mm -hmm. Maybe they say, okay, for you, you had a job. But no, before even that job, mm -hmm. I used to brew alcohol. Mm -hmm. Of course, you regulate your customer. Can you take a, a, a small Fanta and go? Mm. For me, I'm not selling more than that. Mm. But if we do not think for the next person, for you, you are looking at the money. For me, I must send 20, sell 20 bottles. Mm. Mm. So looking at the causes, it causes people to drink alcohol. Mm. You know, people are depressed. Why are you depressed? Think outside the box. Alcohol is not so, any solution. You are only postponing the problem. Mm. Tomorrow, as you get out of it, you have to 
Start thinking afresh. Mm. So in, in many people who are drinking, it's not because they're not working. How many officers, how many medical doctors, lawyers, professionals are taking a lot of alcohol? Mm -hmm. Actually, those who even don't have money, they take little. Mm. It's not about uh, the causes. What causes people to drink alcohol? Availability. Yeah. Availability. If we say all bars are closed during the working hours, mm. and then we open for a short time, like maybe 7 to 10 and close, mm. like in Kenya. You see, Kenyans are more hard hit mm. than us. But yeah. you find Kenyans are even more developed individually. Mm. Women in Kenya have B&B. You come and find this, uh, all this apartment belongs to women. Mm. And here women want to sit and drink, paint their nails and want money from men. Maybe. Mm. All men want to sit, drink and want money from women. What is this? Mm. Can we all become responsible, drink responsibly? No one has said in that parliament that this bill is stopping you from drinking. Mm. We are saying, can we regulate it? Can we think for you? There are so many bills that are being worked on. There are some, so many laws we have worked on in the one year. Mm. So they cannot say, this is a useless thing we want to concentrate on. Why don't we do better things? Which one is better? Mm. We are seeing our people dying. Mm. Is, is death any better or any, anywhere nearer? Mm. These people who died in West Nile, who can attest to us that they needed formal employment? Mm. Many did not even need. Mm. They were already employed. There were those who had border borders and doing business. There were those who were working. So it, there's no justification. People just always want to find a loophole in something and mm. see how they can oppose. Mm. But really for a sensible person to say this alcohol bill should not come to pass because they want taxes, because we have other better things, no. I think there's a problem. Some so on, Honorable, you know that uh, in 2016, there had been efforts to, to bring the alcohol drinks control bill mm -hmm. by the Mkono member of parliament, Nambos Wachireke. And uh, it, it, it found a bit of resistance and it, it couldn't proceed. What, how do you, how do you because generally I think that there, there seems to have, the, the, the bill seems to be generating discussions, mm -hmm. especially by the proponents. How are you prepared to, to counter and to make your point across? Well, we would have done our work mm -hmm. by bringing the bill and justifying why it should be, the alcohol should be regulated in this country. If it finds uh, a problem on the way, this does not mean we have lost energy. Mm -hmm. Another time it will come. Whatever issue they will mention for us uh, to go back on the drawing board, mm -hmm. we'll wait. But it's not good to cross the bridge before we reach it. For me, mm. I'm prepared mm. to see to it that mm. Ugandans come and support this bill mm. and give positive views and understand that one time we had uh, a challenge with the cigarette mm. smoking and mm. we passed this bill. It faced mm. a lot of challenges. Mm. People were looking at the same taxes, but we have lived without cigarettes. But it's so rare now to find people smoking in this country. Mm. It's when I go to Europe and I say, Am I still alive or there's something wrong? Mm. Yeah, you find smoky rooms, but you can't, you don't find this commonly. <coughs> so for me, I think uh, it's still uh, in process. Uh, for us mothers, when you have just conceived, you remain prayerful so that this baby does not die on the way. You should be able to give birth to a healthy child. And mm. we know this bill should be delivered and it will be delivered. Mm. That is my conviction. Of course, nothing in this country comes to pass without any challenges, no. Mm -hmm. So long as it's coming from parliament, people must brush. But that is good. Criticism is good. So that the actors checks and balances. Yeah. And we're able to educate them, no, we mean well. Mm -hmm. We don't mean uh, to hurt you. To talk about taxes, eh, the economy is down. It is, should not be at the sacrifice of Ugandans, yeah. honestly. Okay, so Apollo, Apollo, having worked uh, in the corridors of, of Parliament and uh, your experience in journalism, what what's your take on on uh, on the bills that are currently being 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 brought in the of Parliament, while while Parliament is executing its its mandate of uh, legislating? Mm -hmm. What's your take in some of uh, some of the laws, including the current bill, say alcohol and 
the cons- consumer protection bill yeah um i must first appreciate the efforts by honorable saro pendi and, and and the honorable here and i must expressly uh say that i i am support i am in support of, 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 of such a legislation honorable you have one supporter legislation <laughs> i'm so happy legislation is <laughs> dear that you should go to terego uh, yeah. <laughs> legislation is uh, dear yeah. that um, at 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 at, at putting things right we acknowledge that uh, globally um, alcohol uh, is attributed to more than 5% of death um, mm-hmm. worldwide and even here in Uganda we still show that we are good consumers of, of alcohol and um, much as i really support uh, uh, the bills um, the honorable and the proponents of these bills should also look at the criticisms that are coming out mm-hmm. uh, especially on this uh, uh, alcohol regulation bill um, the criticism has been around um, one some are talking about the timing of, of, of these bills that's, that possibly this uh, around this time when we have more pressing issues um possibly parliament should be looking at um, those direct that, that those um issues that directly affect the people like and, which one um for instance the economy now the are we not looking now. at the economy at the economy it's like diarrhea mm. when when you have diarrhea mm-hmm. if you stop that diarrhea mm. after some time you start diarrheating again mm. am, so this <laughs> i am sharing with you honorable <laughs> what uh, the public mm. is saying yeah <laughs> as a journalist I, uh, we interact with many very many people and they tell us possibly um this is not a problem this is mm-hmm. the most pressing yeah. pro- problem mm-hmm. or challenge to Ugandans right now should be looking at how people can survive after two or, or these years of covid uh, should be looking at how business that are crumbling can recover now we have um, uh, the Ebola threat today and other Uh, pressing challenges but well it is important that alcohol consumption should be regulated in this country she um pointed out that um that um, challenge that the incident that happened in Arua city where mm. 11 people died after taking 15 15 yeah. uh, that dangerous liquor so but, but but again you should not only look at at, at, at alcohol itself um, mm. she, um the honorable here um uh, brushed off the 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 the, the 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 comment you talked about um mm. about the causes the real 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 causes of, of 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 what pushes these people to to, to drink themselves silly um and 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 honorable and your colleagues should not overlook we didn't push those, up yeah. those, those those issues and and those concerns that people are unemployed people actually some of them go to these bars and and those places even drinking just to leave stress and and, and and go and and forget their troubles it is true because we know the unemployment rates in this country um the the, the 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 big chunk of the population who are outside the money economy and they are just there and they look at you and and and, and your and, and your colleagues they they they, they, they imagine what happened to them which cars really was was thrown at them so uh, you have also to think about that but another thing possibly they should also um uh, put into consideration is that this country is not short of of, of laws and regulations we have many regulations here on the nguli act has outlived its usefulness it is true it could be obsolete yeah. but what i'm saying the challenge has always, always been implementation Of, 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 of these laws we we have a long list of of, of laws and regulations in this country mm. so why 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 are others well me um I'm, I'm 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 happy i actually even supported the tobacco control yeah. bill mm. today you may not find people uh, smoking mm. um on streets and everywhere yeah. it is good that even alcohol should be regulated but again it goes back to other systems yeah. in this country do we have a system that will support these people uh oh these industries these small industries because many of these like she said these small um, uh, industries that are brewing mm. this dangerous liquor 
they, they are also, it is out of their own initiatives that they have started those small what, yeah. small businesses. So what is that deliberate strategy that government and has to help those small, uh, small um, um, industries to diversify and, and, and go into other ventures? Because mm -hmm. they will suffer. And, and, and we know, it me and you honorable, that even government is, 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 is struggling mm -hmm. to get money. That is why you, you are running to, to, to pursue a commercial loan. Mm -hmm. So they are looking at these people again for taxes, for money mm -hmm. to support government programs and, 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 and support the systems. So if you are now coming to clamp down on them, what other strategy have you, you, have, have you in place, you have put in place to help them survive? I, I mean... Uh, from, from other businesses. And finally, Timothy, uh, we have another challenge of, 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 of we can talk about uh, another part of regulation, standards. Mm -hmm. We have the whole uh, bureau of, of, of standards. Mm -hmm. But how much have we empowered it to go to Arua, where, they are, uh, the, where this factory is, to check and conform, to make sure that the, the products conform to standard? How, uh, uh, what, uh, what are we doing? Even if we, we say, yes, we have introduced this law, but then let's go to the level of, of, of implementation. Do we, have we empowered uh, our, 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 our standard bodies to go down and ensure that even the alcohol, uh, you want them to drink at night? Because, actually, let me tell you, even if they don't die, during these hours, you 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 saying you you setting. They can drink it at night and die also. We're regulating the content, okay. production. We're not no, all, only regulating the hours. Okay, the, the, the alcoholic content, manufacture, <laughs> import, <laughs> consumption, the alcohol, the alcoholic mm. content. That uh, is what I'm saying. Everything. Who is going to do that? It is you, NBS, and other bodies mm. that uh, enforce standards. So, honourable, look at the budget. How much do you give? Or how much have you put in these enforcement agencies uh, to, to ensure that Ugandans uh, get the standard they deserve? I think it's also an area we must look at. So, Honorable, even as you, um, as you, as you plan to respond to, to Apollo's concerns, yeah. uh, in 2019, I was involved in uh, a, a campaign where we, we had wanted the, the, the companies which are responsible in producing alcohol to directly, as part of the social corporate social responsibility mm. to directly contribute in putting in place rehabilitation centers. And our thinking then was that there are many people who as a result of consumption of alcohol, uh, they, they eventually find themselves there. However, when we reached, uh, when we interacted with some of the stakeholders in there, their concerns and what they said is that actually, contrary to what you're saying, we save a lot of families, we save a lot of people from depression, from because alcohol seems to be a stimulant <laughs> to ensure that people live happily. People, people, people relieve themselves from this stress of family, society, and all this kind of thing. So, so the, the argument was like, whereas you may want us to build rehabilitation centers, we think that even this alcohol which you produce is enough therapy to... <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe we can respond to this. You I, see, mm. these people are not threat to Ugandans. And uh, two, much as we have economic uh, crisis uh, in this country, it, that does not mean we should sentence people to death. Mm. You know, two wrongs don't make a right, uh, not at all. Yes, we have a challenge, but why should we use the wrong method to solve this, this problem? Yes, I, I, I'm a lawyer, and I sit on Legal and Parliamentary Affairs Committee where NBAs, where they appear mm. before us. Mm. You, you see, the money, me, the question I always ask these entities is, yes, the money you are receiving is little. But what have you done with that little money? Mm. But incidentally, in their presentation, it, they are not complaining about the money because they collect money also. They help government to get the standards so that we get, like, for example, if you are to go and... Uh, get your good satisfied, certified so that you can put it in the market. That is not free. It's, yeah. it's done with a charge. But I don't know so, it's unfair to say that they, they have money. No, because, what they have can we, are, we, have been, we have been in those committees of parliament. 
Yeah. An entity like uh, like uh, like uh, Nema comes and they tell you they are understaffed. Wait, wait, wait a minute. You, you we shall them. come here for Nema another day mm -hmm. because uh, I am an environmentalist. Yeah. Uh, within one year, I've given over one million seedlings, mm -hmm. meaning you I... You know how they struggle. I know, but you let's know talk about enforcement. this particular entity. Yeah. We are going to merge some of these okay. entities. That's mm -hmm. what... Uh, the president proposed, of course, for me, NEMA, NFA, mm. NADS, uh, uh, the UNRWA, yeah. there are those which I don't... Even the YIGG's uh, office. Uh, I don't want them to be He's matched. Mm. Because where we are coming from, mm. they have done something, it should not mm. be killed. Mm. So these other entities that are to be matched, some should be isolated. Mm. I know NEMA is going through a lot. Mm. But of course, uh, at times, some of the bills coming on the uh, pro uh, proposals coming on the floor of parliament, you think there is uh, somebody being used as a conduit by the entities. Because if you don't always remain with your eyes open, you find something wrong as by past you. That aside, you cannot tell me. I remember saying this one time, say that, oh, we are supposed to have received, let me say, Two billion now because you have given one point five billion uh, because the five the other point zero point five is not there we have not done work show us the work you have done with the little mm. that was that has been given to you mm. we have to learn to share the little resources and that is why we have to regulate that we are not regulating one item we are regulating time the quality the packaging many items on that honestly alcohol if you take the, the how it is expensive how it has taken a toll on our people those who are rich want to take alcohol to show that i really have money those who are poor want to take alcohol mm -hmm. so that they can have their problems tell me the right solution the, right, the balance because you have some money you drink yourself silly you die there some people have drunk, gone to bed, remained in bed. If you look at the statistics, if you're talking of 5%, maybe uh, three point something is coming from Africa. Now, we're not going to talk for the world. We shall speak for our country. Can we really regulate? Yes, people have challenges. That uh, therapy of saying no, alcohol is a therapy mm. for those who have challenges to massage their brains. It's a lie. Mm. Actually, it's killing them. Mm. First of all, you're already depressed. Anything toxic that goes in your body kills you more, yeah. destroys you. And I'm saying many homes that take alcohol excessively, their children have multiple challenges. Yeah. And now the burden of medication is even higher. So must we add the more burden? And uh, of course, the other bill was unanim unanimously accepted by Uganda yeah. because consumer protection. There are times when you go downtown, some of the quality of things you see, you wonder whether we have any entity that tries to control standards. Some of these things don't exist anywhere mm -hmm. in, a, in a, some countries. But of course, we don't have any law that regulates mm -hmm. so we maybe it was because we didn't have any law regulating now let's put it in place and we see yeah. alcohol is bad and it's not recommended to persons below 16 but i can tell you from 14 years above every, every person who takes alcohol in a year consumes not less than 26 liters mm -hmm. this is the list now 26 liters do it by 4,000. Mm -hmm. Others are even more expensive because bought. the hardcore is small, but the the price may look small, but it has been broken. So now put it in twenty six. I just, report, um, should, I just hmm? said to, to highlight that uh, I read a report. I think of the World Health Organization. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. that was for twenty fourteen, mm -hmm. indicating the the consumption of alcohol in Uganda per capita mm -hmm. is at nine point. <laughs> but that was twenty fourteen mm -hmm. as of, mm -hmm. was uh, is at nine point eight liters per capita. Which, which tells you that it's a it's very, very high time. consumption in this place. Yeah, I was saying um, it is, it is I, I must say, and wish Honorable and, uh, and, 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 uh, and colleagues uh, good luck because, uh, like she said, they must be aware 
of, 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 of reasons as to why or right honor no honorable numbers mm. Mm. my jk's efforts in 2016 failed yeah we know that uh, um it is entirely because government looks at these big uh, uh beer uh brewers brewers as, uh, as, as a cash cow they are looking at at tax uh that, that is accrued from from these big brewers so um it is it, it is it is a challenge and she knows it, that uh, uh, pushing a bill through that parliament without mm -hmm. the support of government, uh, I don't know now I, I talk in, in general, it is not mm -hmm. easy. If, if we, some people still think that uh, uh, beer and, and alcohol is bringing good money mm -hmm. and they need the money. At the expense of others. Because uh -huh. it is not the first, the, 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 the first thing. Or it is it is it's not, or it's not the first time we have seen uh, good and and popular bills, even if they go through, even mm. if they are passed and they mm. stay there. I will give you an example of the national insurance health health bill, and uh, and the minimum wage bill. They were overwhelmingly supported mm. from the population and and and, and in the, on, on on the floor of parliament. But where are they now? So I am saying I support. The idea, I think it's good to regulate, but again, we should, we should be also aware that uh, um, uh, things, not good, not only good bills, uh, see, uh, the, the, I mean, um, see favor in the, in the, in the eyes of, of, of the authorities here. So it is good, push it, but again, I think you should think about regu um, the, the regulatory bodies, the bodies that will implement, because mm -hmm. like I said in the beginning, <laughs> the laws are passed here, but implementation mm -hmm. is already that is where they fail at the implementation mm -hmm. level. They are the good legislations on paper and 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 and, 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 in, and with popular support, but eventually mm -hmm. they die yeah. like a natural death. Mm -hmm. We need a positive mindset change. Mm -hmm. This country needs a positive mindset change. I know the enemies of the people will derail them until they believe this is the biggest ever on us until death do us part we shall not find any revenue collection point they will also say no it is a therapy to massage our brains and so forth but we need to sensitize the community and mm. behave like the true allies of our people because we are P pdm the biggest enemy of this country is corruption Mm -hmm. For me, it's corruption. Mm -hmm. Uganda is big enough for all of us. The resources are big enough for all of us. But people choose to steal indiscriminately. Mm -hmm. So people cannot say, oh, parliament is not legislating well. Even when you bring somebody from the constituency or district level or sub-county level because of a corruption issue, mm -hmm. they say, you see, in parliament, they're busy stealing. What do we steal in parliament? Mm -hmm. I only get my salary, whatever entitlement is to me. So what is given down must be accounted for. So this alcohol bill, all Ugandans should be smiling down to say, wow, this will help us like cigarette. And uh, Timothy, mm -hmm. another thing uh, Honorable and uh, her colleagues should also look at is uh, the fact that alcohol has been for, for as long as I think humanity uh, mm. has lived, has been part of cultural, <laughs> religious mm. and... Uh, and, 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 the wine <laughs> we have said so, consume so, but so yeah. i am saying you will have also to look at how you can like you said um mm -hmm. work uh, on the mindset of, of the people yeah. it is deeply yeah this i, I mean um um um, um uh, yeah, uh, some distinction you may point out from other it is it is, it is still in some people's culture and, and culture and, and, and religious beliefs. Some people, um, it, is, it, is, it is possible that you will legislate here that uh, they, you don't have to take alcohol beyond this time, but they will, they, they will take it behind the curtains and, 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 and where you, you may not find them. So it, is now, it now goes back to how you must sensitize the society that alcohol has negative effect. True. You, it, 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 it actually affects mm -hmm. even the innocent. It is like tobacco. Um, if 
if a pregnant woman or mother uh, takes excessive alcohol, it mm -hmm. affects the, 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 the unborn child, the unborn innocent child. unborn yes. child. So you, it, it goes beyond just legislation. That's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. You mm -hmm. should also look at other factors uh, and, and possibly that, uh, that law can be, can, can be uh, productive. Yeah, mm -hmm. alternative. You are alternate. There has been a lot of alternatives provided in this country. Mm -hmm. So the next coming alternatives like PDM and so forth, people should use them well. Mm -hmm. And then again, you know, I, I'm a Catholic, and for us, we take the wine, we take beer. But I'm saying, can we regulate? That mm -hmm. is all. We are not saying stop. No, regulate mm -hmm. and take it responsibly. Mm -hmm. By the I know a lot of money is going to change hands. Mm. Even uh, it may come up to parliament mm. because these are powerful uh, bodies producing uh, beer and so forth. Yeah. But this must not stop us to be Ugandans. And even the consumers themselves. Mm. Yeah. They are big. They, they are, <laughs> they are, they are powerful. Big, mm. But they are powerful and they cannot justify by yeah. saying mm. we are taking it because of stress, because of poverty. Mm. The people who consume most are not the other last person. But now the other last person needs to be protected from them. Mm. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, and I think it's uh, whether whether whatever reaction it receives, I think part of uh, your role is to do to legislate, which that is very good. Cool. Yeah, sure. mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, <laughs> as you mentioned, I think you, you it's it's a discussion and idea which has been presented, mm. and it should. If it is defeated on the floor, of Parliament, mm. at least uh, many Ugandans will know uh, there are people who are saying upright thinking in that Parliament. They thought about this. In future, when it comes, we will be quoted uh, yeah. for having done our part. Mm. When are you bringing back retabling the national health insurance? The mm. national health is insurance mm. is now at committee level. Mm. Actually, it was, it was back and mm. sent to mm. the committee level. Remember, uh, late Olanya, all the bills that yeah. were at a certain stage yeah. all collapsed. And we had to start work on uh, them. And, the, and, the, and you could not imagine. Okay, I didn't take Of course, the that is the law. Why Mm. Hmm? No, that is the law. It, it, it was the decision. This is a new parliament. Mm. Oh. It's a new parliament. It because me, I do not know the genesis mm. of that bill. Now, if it comes at the, the third reading or at the last stage, how am I supposed to contribute? That is why it is in good faith. It's because of the law that a new team, everything new. If it had passed, we are not going to really push it. Even the legal aid bill, yeah. it is at its final stages. There are so many bills that are no, coming. But, but they had been Even passed. Uh, Those two had been passed. The National Health Insurance Bill had been passed. Did the president ascend? No. Yeah. yeah. Anything yeah. he did not ascend. Mm -hmm. You know, now going for campaigns, mm -hmm. time elapses, yeah, yeah, yeah. that side it elapses. How are you going to proceed? Mm -hmm. In good faith, you understand? So what has not been ascended to is treated as a new thing. You'll also believe that the majority of the current uh, parliament are new. So we have to brace ourselves with mm. what is there but that so should, that we pass it honorable, cautiously. That should also be amended in the procedures. Mm. The yeah, procedure the game is not because, lost. Because they, they, they imagine, law, imagine the time that had been invested in that bill... Mm. And the money that had been invested. Then in it should have been ascended too. Mm. We are not Simple. asking for money now. You know, mm. uh, when we have committee meetings, what is paid to us, by the way, I don't think I've received even once, is 50,000. Mm. But you sit, you go, you know, League One Parliamentary you Affairs, see, mm. the chair will make sure she asks a question inside that and asks you to answer. Mm. Well, how about this section? So you really have to read the whole thing. Of course, that is why we're elected. We're elected to do that work. Do not see it is lost. It is never lost. Mm. At least uh, the organ uh, transplant. Mm. Uh, Which has been be, recently yeah, be, It was also hanging. Mm. This parliament, uh, uh, I'm not saying because I'm in it, I see a lot is being done when it comes to bills. Mm. Remain hopeful and faithful. All of us need that insurance. We need the minimum wage. Those who think they don't want to pay, for example, house girls and uh, the compound cleaners, those uh, guys, a lot of money. The next time it will be your child. It is your relative. Mm. So it is important to always put yourself in a perspective as you discuss issues. Because assuming it's you, next time it is your grandchild. I don't know how tomorrow will portray me. 
I, but I know where I'm coming from. I was worse than that. By the one time I was a cook, I yeah. was at that level. Yeah. So I, I know where I've come from. I told you I slept in a house without a, a roof. Mm. And they, you know, I, I, even when I finished my degree, my first house, I slept only with a door. There are many numerous windows. I didn't have them. Mm. So we, we should always remain conscious. But the acting out of excitement cannot help anybody in this country. Okay. Remain hopeful and optimistic, says Honorable Bigger Rose. Thank and you. And now we, we, we turn to our last topic on uh, the, the loans and uh, the requests that uh, the government had as presented to the parliament. The, as, 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 as parliament was resuming from recess, uh, the Minister of Finance tabled three <coughs> loan requests. One was passed last week, mm. amounting to 1.7 trillion. Mm. There, there, there are two more bills currently before the committee. And uh, I think it's good to inform the, our viewers that uh, as, as we're passing the budget for this financial year, part of how we're going to finance for the budget mm. uh, is, to be is, is to borrow both locally and mm. externally. However, there have been concerns on the interest, the terms, uh, the terms that are included in, in borrowing of this money. Specifically, last week when we're borrowing, there was a 10% as, as part of the terms towards uh, insurance of the bill together with the, together with the interest. Mm -hmm. I would just want to pick your, your mind on this. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that day I was in parliament and I always like to do things with my consciousness. A number of questions were asked mm -hmm. and uh, it, it, the, the whole thing is not at, at its final stages. The minister and committee of finance, the, the minister was supposed to go and final beat it. First of all, it is abnormal to ask for insurance of 10%. We have all gone to money lenders and uh, commercial uh, banks and, and mentioned them. Yeah, yeah true. The part of what uh, parliament passed was to be financed by donation, by uh, revenue raised by this country and through borrowing the, the way we have gone. But this looks to be so expensive. Even uh, a go-between, a person who negotiates on our behalf, is not necessary. It's really not necessary. So some elements of that borrowing were truly not worth it. Mm. And the speaker directed that the minister goes back and works on this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my child and my grandchildren will be the ones to pay this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So even uh, if this is a short-term loan, it's not even that yeah. long. So I will pay it before I leave. 10 years. Yeah. So uh, before I die, I, I, I really expect to, by the way, live for more than 25 years. <laughs> unless something happens. So, so honestly, yeah. yeah, there were discrepancies. Yeah. Which both opposition and NRM alluded to. Yes, yeah, yeah. these are discrepancies. But until the last uh, draft comes back to parliament, it is not yet over. Okay. Yeah. It is still there working often. And I always want people... Honorable wasn't it approved? No. no, no so there, there... Well, there are still areas we approved, but with those areas, those observations, okay. the 10%, the... So why approve it when actually there are still areas to work out? No. When you approve with am amendments mm -hmm. and the amendments are not worked on, it collapses. Because you go, work on the amendments, it comes back. Okay. That's when the final mm. work is done. Yes, you say, okay, this is the... By the way, this was not the only bank identified. Mm. The rest of the banks gave in a higher percentage. Yeah. So this one was the best, the fairest of the fair. You see, when you say, Snow Girl, who of you is the fairest lady? Me, I cannot be fair enough, you know. You know, my looks are not that yeah. beautiful. So, <laughs> But that was the most beautiful, if I may say, in a lady's language. But still, it had a lot of lacuna, okay. which should be fixed, which should be patched. Then it will come back to Parliament. And the speaker was very clear. Go, handle A, B, C, D. Come back. It will not have gone like that. Because if we said we are not doing anything, then we cannot proceed. But 
proceed, we have understood all the documents were tabled, even the other quotations okay. were all brought to the committee, the relevant committee, and which has both NRM and opposition. So they all alluded to, yes, we saw. Now they are going back to see again. Mm -hmm. it, until they come back with one position, we have checked, and all is downloaded to our iPads. We are also given the benefit to read, much as we are not in that committee. And I intend to attend their next meeting mm -hmm. so that I get myself abreast with uh, what is taking place. Apollo, Apollo, even as we conclude, mm -hmm. what's your take on, uh, on this whole process of... Uh, of the request by government and the terms. Mm. I, I happened to be in the National Economic Committee. I covered it uh, mm. the day, two days before uh, it was approved. And I listened and, and watched us, uh, the Honorable Mwanga Chibumbi and members, even members of NRM, uh, staged a, a, a big battle um, against the, that, that, that loan request. Mm. And uh, they were pointing to just three areas which are actually still a bone of contention mm. they were talking about the terms of the loan they are they were talking about um they are, they are also talking about um about the clarity on on which projects specifically is this loan going to 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 to, to fund and uh, third um they, they are also uh, saying uh, why you go for 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 uh, a commercial loan uh, instead of of, of, of of concession concession loans, there, there there are many areas of contention. But I I could not believe it that as they were actually still debating it in the committee, it was already on the order paper, and it was already <laughs> it was already midday, it mm. was already on the order paper. Yet there were very many issues still to do what to handle. You could see the the the, 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 the power mm. and the pressure uh, that Parliament had to endure around that time um, to see that the loan goes through whatever case it may be. So um, eventually, I travelled out, and uh, the honourable is telling me now that though it was approved, there were areas they were told you go and work on these areas yeah, and, and come, come back. back. Mm. And I wonder now when mm. it comes back. Is it reversible? Will it's it reversible. Will, will, if the areas are not worked on. Because I remember very well, Honorable um, Sarsis, the minister, the sixth minister, was well, insisted that this 10% uh, insurance is okay. He insisted that there is no way Standard Chartered Bank can be uh, removed from the whole deal. Mm -hmm. That this because uh, the members were concerned why go through a, a, a middleman why can't we go straight to the to, to the to the to the to the person who, who is going mm. to, to give us this money because automatically it will affect uh, the interest and and the whole uh, the whole cost of, of, of the loan so I, I am I am I am I am I am suspicious that possibly mm. uh, this loan was approved and it uh, under pressure and mm -hmm. indeed, uh, we must wait to see whether the, 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 the few amendments mm -hmm. that, we are, uh, uh, that, that are supposed to be worked out will be effective. They I, are, I, are going I, to... I assume the people behind this loan want it and want it as it is. <coughs> so you, can, you, can, you can honestly, yeah. moderator, you can believe me that I, I'm not behind anything. Yeah. Honestly, me, I speak my mm -hmm. heart. Mm -hmm. But... You know, I believe justification. You can testify about the pressure that was the, behind the this loan. Yeah, but because we are already running in deficit, yeah. members traveling out don't even have money. We shall get it next time. And two, Stay they, here. They, no, not Good this. Mm. The, 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 the projects mm. we are brought. Because members asked on the floor of parliament, mm. why are we not seeing projects? Others were saying, our iPads are not downloading. Then um, even opposition said, no, mine is here, it has downloaded. Yeah. The projects are here. No, you know? So they, they, they were told, okay, go back. We have accepted, go back. You find explanations and count explanations. 
But then these explanations didn't only come from NRM. Mm. There were even NRMs who were still opposing. There were oppositions who were giving clarity. No, this paper was laid. My copy is here. Yeah. Another one says, me, I did not see it. The issues were laid and then laid papers, papers which were not laid. You know, they can come with a heap of papers. Yeah. If you're not a keen reader, it will pass you. It will pass you. Yeah. So you really have to go and reorganize. Your colleagues will embarrass you and say, me, I saw it. Then you say it has been downloaded. Mm. And I'm not seeing so, so you agree that so, Parliament was not ready to pass or to... to, to, to Parliament, to, yeah. of course, there is a kitchen. Mm. There, is, there is where food is served. Mm. Then there are those who only come to eat. Yeah. You understand? But clearly, I think this is a very dicey, dicey matter. Yeah. And uh, we, we all desire the best for... For the for, country. For, for the country. And at the end of the day, it's on the checks and balances that... Uh, we can be able to, to achieve the best. Uh, time is not really on our side, but uh, I will thank you so much. Honorable Biga, thank you so much for always, uh, offering us your time and uh, your experience, knowledge. It's really helpful to us and to our viewers. Apollo, thank you so much for offering us your time. It's a pleasure. And for being part of this, for this show. Yeah. And to our viewers out there, thank you so much. We do appreciate your, your time and for have always following on our, sh on our shows. This one on Focus of Parliament, but other the other, also the other shows that run across the week. To continue with these conversations, please leave a comment on the, on the comment section. To our new members, please subscribe and tap on the notification button so that you can be notified as and when our videos premiere. Thank you so much. And from us here, we wish you a good day and see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.